Hi, everybody. Hello. We've been getting a lot of questions uh, about our window coverings, and we finally got the final part in, and so we figured we would make a video about it now and show you what we did with all of our window coverings. This motorhome did have window coverings, it and did. we ripped them all out. Yes, we did. They were, they worked, but they were hideous. And they covered most of the windows. Which window coverings do, but even when they're rolled up, <laughs> that's what you want, right? I, yeah, you want your window coverings to cover most and all of the window. What you meant was when they're open, they had giant frames that went around the window that covered most of the window, even when they're open. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. See why I married him? Translator. <laughs> Translated. We did research online to see how we could do it ourselves. And for me, doing all that measuring and having money on the line for if I screw up a measurement or I don't install it right or I order the wrong hardware, and it's not returnable. Because they're custom sized. Yeah. So this was the only project that we decided to bring in somebody to help. And we have friends who own a budget blinds. And so we called them to see what they would recommend. We owned a house for six years and we did not get new window coverings, even though the ones that were in there were hideous and most of them were broken. Broken but and for an splattered with food. Yeah. But for an RV, you're constantly moving and who knows who's going to be outside your window. <laughs> so Peeking in at you while you're doing stuff. So we decided to get good blinds this time. Yeah. The other day I was exercising in our open space over here and I happened to look out the window and in the campsite next to us was a guy sitting in one of those really low camp chairs and he was watching me and we made eye contact and I was like, yeah, we're done here. And I uh, popped those blinds open. Like this. And just do that. Yeah. I love that we got anti-creeper shades, which is exactly what our friends Said That's they why they recommended these for. ones. So we had them come out and they recommended the style and the, made some color recommendations. And then they took all the measurements. They ordered all the parts for us. And then they also installed them. And it took them like 45 minutes. Yes, worth it. Maybe an hour tops. I feel like I would have been stressing over where to put them in a in relationship to the top of the window and do i level it do i eyeball it because we're not quite level and the windows aren't quite level yeah. and he took care of all that it was, it was amazing. amazing it would have taken us a week just to install all of these and, and it took them 45 minutes we've never <laughs> pretended to be any kind of a diy no telling we you have how no to do idea stuff. what we're doing we're just documenting how terrible we are <laughs> at building things and with how much square footage like eye line space blinds take up, it would have been a disaster. Yeah. So, should we show them what our blinds look like? I think we should show them what our blinds look so, like. So, the ones we got from Budget Blinds are top-down, bottom-up, cordless, honeycomb blinds. And they are insulating, so when the sun is directly on a section, if we put them up, that keeps the heat out and if it's freezing outside, that's also kept a lot more of the cold out. So that's been really great. They're also yeah. light blocking for the most part. We'll have to see how well the outside fabric does with, because RVs have a lot of moisture that comes mm -hmm. through. And so we'll have to see in a little while how, how well they do. So far, they've been doing really well. But I'm sure anything that's a porous type fabric -y material, these have reflective like foil inside. So I'm hoping they do a lot better than, mm -hmm. but they do insulate really well. Oh, and the final piece of the puzzle that we were waiting for was our drapes because the drapes that came with this one out on the front windshield. The front big windshield wraparound. Um, they weren't, it wasn't light blocking. It had yellowed with age. It had mildew and mold staining on it. So we just decided this has served <laughs> past life. And so, <laughs> so we had them order a custom drape that's the right size. It wraps mm -hmm. all the way around. It's actually light blocking and it matches our color scheme. There was the option to do like a mermaid print or Sue you know something that. super cool like that. But we went with gray tweed, keeping it classy over here. Maybe we'll order another one in the future and you can throw it up there every now and then. <laughs> it's just a big mermaid tail <laughs> shimmer, throw some light on it. 
little disco ball effect. Projector. He would love it. Yeah. So this is what they look like. Come on. Come look at this. Uh, we kept mini blinds. We kept one over the kitchen sink because that's where a lot of moisture is. And then we kept a pull down, just a cheap roll up blind over the door. And we just bought one of those at Walmart. Cause they're the kind that you measure and then rip the fabric. Yeah, you rip them. They're like tear to fit. And the reason we did that is one that's, it works really well over that door. And two, those always get destroyed. So uh, those are our blinds. I like them. Yeah, we really like them. Makes it feel very homey in here. Mm -hmm. We didn't realize how much we were missing them until they went up. And we went, wow, now it actually feels like a house. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. That was such a great week. <laughs> I was so excited to just be like, here, here's a project. So that's what we did for our blinds. I don't know if that's um, non-helpful for... <laughs> Maybe it gives you ideas. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Know. I but don't know. People have been asking us, so there you go. That's yep. what we did. There's a lot of stuff out there on Pinterest if you want to go other options. I saw this really cute idea that was just like a hemmed sheet of rough canvas, and they were looped up by straps of leather, and it was such a good look. It was charming, and then I started thinking about having to roll those up every single day on every single window on a daily basis. And I was just like, that's... Start going through with scissors and cutting the straps. <laughs> that's not for me. Personally, that's not for me. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, I'll let you in on a little secret. Ryan and I are not Instagrammable people. We like things to be clean and tidy and look nice. But it has but to be functional. functional. So... Um, I don't know if you guys were expecting us to say that we built these from scratch, but... I'm so glad we didn't. Can even you like, imagine? Even the roll-up ones, we have the pull-down roll-up, which we were looking at for all of these because they're very cheap and mm -hmm. they do block out light. We have one over the door. I'm so glad they're not all that way. Yeah. Because it's a pain in the butt. But and the they also fall apart. That one gets beat up. Yeah. You go so through the door. go cheap over the door. <laughs> you have it closed and you're like, shoot, I forgot something outside. And you go and open the door and you don't want to roll it up. So you walk through it and it splits. And Well, of course, if you walk through it. That's I just, go underneath it. It just I don't know what he you does. You try to go I'm underneath cold. it and you hit it and it splits <laughs> in it. half. Got it. Yeah. I thought he had a superpower. So there you go. <laughs> That's what we did. Yep. Go check out Budget Blinds. They have tons of stuff. We really like them. And there's, it's very possible that there's a franchise near you. Yep. And they might be able to give you ideas and point you in the right direction. Yeah. Help you out. There's no shame in sometimes saying, this is beyond me. I'm so glad we did. Yeah. We don't claim to be DIYers. I mean, we, we are doing it ourselves, but this is not a how-to, you guys. <laughs> Unless it comes to some of the electrical stuff, I really don't know what I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> this is just a comedy show. <laughs> Really? We're just showing you what we've done. So Comedy that of errors. <laughs> nothing else you can figure out what not to yeah. do. Yeah. That looks like a bad idea. It probably is. Don't do it. <laughs> High five. Got one thing right in the whole project. And my coffee nook. And your coffee nook. I use it every day. Hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. 
Um, we're really bad at this, so we always forget to tell you subscribe. But if you want to subscribe, it's free. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a lot of people don't know that it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, it'll tell you anytime we post a video. So you can follow our whatever this is. <laughs> Let's call it an adventure. Yeah, our adventure. <laughs> I sound like I've been drinking. Let's call it an adventure. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Ow. 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 I thought I saw the eye. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs>